Hey guys, it's AC bringing you episode 4 of Clash of Clans of my season 2 with my new account. Um, so, I'm going to go for a goblin raid in this first part of the video, and then I'm going to try to raid uh, someone else, see if I can fill up my resources a bit. So, I'm just doing these goblin missions for a bit of fun, really. There's no. I don't know, they're pretty easy at the start, some easy resources. But yeah, I never really did this on my other account. I don't think I got very far, so maybe I'll try on this one. I don't know. But that's just a bit of fun. I don't mind. I reckon they're fun, but you gotta watch out. There's always traps. It's always good to send in goblins first, as you can see. Half oh, my dude just got smacked by that thing. But yeah, pretty easy. Once you take out the defenses, it's free resources. So I mean, it's only a thousand, but it gets better. Like the last missions do heaps. But yeah, it's a really easy win right here. Just collecting the resources now. Pretty sweet. So, I'm upgrading my barracks to get giants. Once I get giants, I'll be able to start raiding higher levels because the giants will be able to tank the defenses. So, it'll be good to start doing videos with giants. Just showing you basic army composition of giants, archers, goblins, and barbarians. Another strategy is just giants and goblins because that can work really well. Uh, having giants and goblins, you send in the giants first, let them soak up the damage, and then send in the goblins and just go for resources. And this is my farming. I'm just farming on this account. The trophies are never going to be a thing. Okay, so this is the second clip. This one is actually raiding a. going looking for a player to raid. And because a lot of people have a lot more resources than goblins do. The goblins are just a bit of fun, really. I look at this base and I really wish I could have taken that one. It had so many resources. But I go for this one because it looks really easy. Very... It's just a new player just like me. Only has two cannons. One of them's level 2, one of them's level 1 by the looks of things. So once I take out that cannon, there's only... Not much, really. So th these goblins are good because the archers and barbarians get distracted by the resources. The goblins do two times damage to resources. So resources are what I want in the first place, but the other good thing is they can get the resources so the barbarians and archers start hopefully targeting defenses, like you see the archers attacking the archer tower. And yeah, it works out really well. I really like this composition. About 50% goblins, 25% archers, 25% barbarians, I think is a good good composition for resources and it can always it can win the destroy the entire base as well sometimes but I really don't want these trophies but there's not much I can do about it it's either get resources or don't get them yeah. anyway I don't want to be high on trophies at all no way but yeah this wait this raid was pretty good it um got some good resources going yeah uh, I can't wait to get the giants it should be really good to um, have the giants in my army. So yeah. A few hours that upgrade's done, I'll probably release another video of a giant attack. But yeah, it should be pretty good. This That's going to pretty much wrap up this. This video. Uh, I'll see if I can upgrade anything, or if there's anything I can do, but that's about it. So I have a builder. So, I'm thinking... I couldn't afford either the cannons so to upgrade or the archer tower, so I thought I'd, uh, I thought I would upgrade my collector. Just five minutes. It's good to upgrade them. They're good, but I upgrade these walls first. You can get all these. The max you can get these walls to is level two on Town Hall two. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go to Town Hall three until everything's maxed. All right, it's gonna wrap this up. Thanks, guys, for watching.